Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain one of the easiest and simplest methods of solving problems from projections of points. Hope you will enjoy. First, I will explain the general method followed by shortcut method. Please watch the video till the end. Here you can see the 3D representation of the quadrant diagram. The same thing can be represented in 2D like this. Here you can see the first quadrant diagram in 3D. 2D representation of the first quadrant diagram on the right hand side. Now we can move on to the projection of a point in first quadrant. The point is located certain distance above the horizontal plane and certain distance in front of the vertical plane. So here we can consider a point capital A which is located in the first quadrant. To get the front view of this point we need to project it towards the vertical plane and we can obtain the front view point a small letter a dash same way we can project the same point capital a towards the horizontal plane and we can obtain the top view point and we can name it as small letter a after getting the top view point small a we need to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise to get the end result like this now we can show it or represent it on a 2d paper like this now we will move on to the shortcut method. So from this diagram we can understand that we need a horizontal plane to locate or to represent the above position or below position. From this diagram what you can understand is we need a vertical plane to locate or to represent the in front of position or behind position. Now we can consider an example problem from first quadrant. So you can see the quadrant diagram once again. So as I have mentioned, we need a horizontal plane to represent the above and below positions. In the same way, we need a vertical plane to locate the behind and in front of positions. So from the front view, we can see or we can visualize the above positions or below position and we can represent it as front view using small letter with dash. Same way. To get the top view positions, we have to view or visualize the object from the top and we can represent the top view using small letter A. Now you can see the first quadrant diagram, you can see the above and in front of positions and both the axes are meeting at a particular point that is origin and temporarily I am assuming that the origin and the front view point and top view point are located here. Now, the same thing is represented here separately. We can find O point which is origin point and A dash and A are also located in the same point. It is given that the point is located 30 mm above the horizontal plane. So, if you see the above is moving towards up. So, above is upward and 30 mm. So, you can move at A dash point from the origin to a distance of 30 mm in the vertical direction. Next, it is also given that the point is located 20 mm in front of the BP. So, in front means it should be moved towards the right hand side. So, from origin the point A need to be moved towards the right hand side for a distance of 20 mm. After getting this horizontal line, we need to rotate that horizontal line 90 degree clockwise direction. That will give us the final or end result. So, we can easily plot it on a paper. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and give your comments and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.